COVID-19 hospitalizations in the state have been on a steady decline. However, those seeking treatment for the virus at local hospitals are now made up of mostly unvaccinated islands. Our Taylor Musgrove is live at Unity Point Hospital this morning with more details on how local hospitals are planning to prevent another surge come fall. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning, Jody. Now, when assessing their COVID-19 patients, Unity Point, Mercy One, and Brawlons all say that not only are they made up of majority of those unvaccinated, but also made up of majority of people under the age of 60. What we are seeing here in Unity Point is correlating with the national trend of getting patients admitted to the hospital with COVID-19 who are unvaccinated and younger population between 20s and 40 year old. And um, the average really goes between 95, 99% of the admissions being unvaccinated. Now, these numbers mirror national trends as the CDC reports that 97% of Americans hospitalized for COVID-19 are unvaccinated and 99.5% of deaths are among the same group. Now, within the last couple of months, Broadlaws Medical Center has had no more than two COVID-19 patients at a time, which is a drastic change from last year when they had up to 22 patients. This has prompted the medical center to close their COVID-19 wing and use staff in different areas of the hospital. Hospital. However, Broadlands Chief Medical Officer Dr. Yoga Shah says Broadlands officials have met and created an infrastructure plan to recreate the wing in case of another surge. And working to prevent another wave, Dr. Shah says there's a chance Broadlands will start encouraging unvaccinated patients to get the shot before leaving the hospital. We'll approach them before they leave our hospital. Of course, uh, now we can give them vaccine right away if they have symptoms, but uh, then tell them, can you now, do you get the value of vaccine? And say, if they say yes, we'll help them to say what kind of education, what kind of material, what kind of support can we hospital systems give you? Dr. Shah says the hope is not only for these individuals to get the shot themselves, but also become advocates and go back in their community and explain their experiences and why others should get the vaccine as well, Jody. Yeah, sometimes uh, people just need to hear from other people who have been impacted by the virus to know that it's real and that they should get the vaccine. Thanks so much, Taylor.